steps and the advance they got as far as um, I mean it, it, it's like a lot it was crazy it's a new sound and it's still a, it's like a latex sound but what brings what's, what's so fresh about it to me it sounds like a loud broadcast like in the club you got baby screaming on it but it's bringing the energy, energy so when people hear it in the clubs like just off the top from the before the lyrics even start coming in they already dancing you know build a track and build the energy baby putting into it so it kind of sounds like this is what he do. Like when he rock clubs and you know we're on the radio and the clubs, he's emceeing. He bringing that energy, you know, live, but it's actually on the track. So ain't nobody really just doing that right now. And it's, it's a fresh sound. So when people hear it, it automatically get them moving. It's a it's something new to their ears and they join it right now. And we just got it moving in the south right now. It's starting to go national. We got the video on MTV Jams. Uh, you know we we going to BET with it. So we just right now expanding with it. Well, I don't look at it like that. You know, I don't never go in the studio and try and re recreate a record I already made. Cause I already made the record, you know, I already made that record. So, you know, uh, going in and having success with Get Big after that and having a, a total different sound with Walk That Walk and having the success that it had. And now we start having success with these new records that are, you know, different sounds as well. It's like reinventing yourself each time. And especially with this project as a whole, it's definitely like a reinvention. You know, especially when we coming back with my name that I was always that I was given as the artist name, which is the road music now, not just the road. So it's like a it's like a new reinvention of myself as an artist, sound wise, name wise, perception, you know, the visuals are different, everything enhanced, you know, so I'm excited about that as well, just the whole perception that everybody gonna get from this project. Nah, it's more like evolving, you feel me? Like, you know, what's the good example? Now, I don't know if y'all was into the Pokemon movement when a Pokemon was a certain Pokemon and evolved into a living one and evolved into a living That's kind of me, you know? It's not, I'm not changing, like, I'm just getting better and bigger or whatever, you know? So, uh, <laughs> Were you into Pokemon? Yeah. I was into the uh, course when I was in the seventh grade, but I used to have a college grade for Cheryl Gores out of man. But, but we used to use that as a puzzle, though. Like, everybody used to come and buy the course from us. Because you know we had to connect with a with a uh, with one of my friend's uncle who worked at a car shop, so he used to bring us the package and we used to go to school and sell them. Like we'll get packs from him, three dollars. We go to school, sell them ten dollars. So we coming home with at least thirty, forty dollars in our pockets. And the junior high, that was a, that's how I got into that, you know, <laughs> because everybody was into it and I didn't know nothing about it. So for me to be able to sell them and tell them what they wanted, I had to learn about them. So I started watching the show. And I got a little knowledge, so I know what they like, and then I'll be there, get it to a student, and then, yeah, man, I got this holographic uh, Charizard, man, you know what I'm saying, I'm selling this for $10 or whatnot, so, it's just like anything else, you gotta learn the knowledge before you can go and, you know, sell something or present the product, mm -hmm. so, you know, that was a little hustle I had in junior high, man, bring back some memories. <laughs> <laughs>